Hi, my name is Erwin Rothenberg, and today we'll be discussing cross-training as a management strategy. We often think of cross-training as a routine part of staffing the laboratory, designed to provide additional flexibility and backup for the laboratory's day-to-day -day operation. However, it is far more than that. It is strategic management, affecting all aspects of the laboratory operation, from staff development to test performance, from operating hours to customer service. Today, laboratory medicine continues to evolve with new demands for laboratory services, new technologies to answer these demands, and new challenges for management to implement solutions. At the same time, we have a chronic shortage of new lab techs entering the profession, which has led to increased work pressure on current staffs. Cross-training is not only good for managers, providing more flexibility in managing the workforce, but it is also good for employees because it helps them learn new skills, increase their value to the laboratory, and maintain enthusiasm for their work. These benefits improve employee morale, recruitment, and retention. Operationally, the benefits of cross-training your laboratory staff include improved employee awareness of their roles and responsibilities within the lab team, increased flexibility for scheduling, including multi-shift capabilities, increased opportunities for employee advancement, greater opportunity to improve customer service with more knowledgeable employees, potentially reduced absenteeism and employee turnover, and the increased ability for managers to evaluate employees across an array of roles. Borrowing a term from IQCP programs, cross-training is a form of risk mitigation in that the increased staffing flexibility allows the laboratory to better respond to sudden changes in workflow, as well as sudden changes in personnel, minimizing disruptions in service to physicians and for patient care. Cross-training your staff should not be done in a casual, informal manner. As with any training program, it should be structured, documented, carried out by competent individuals and verified. Competency assessment of the newly trained should be performed as with any new employee. No matter how great your organization is, there will be times when employees are sick, are on vacation, or leave to pursue other opportunities. When that happens, it's your duty to make sure that your team is prepared. Now be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for our newest videos. We've also included educational products that are related to what we've just discussed in the video, so click on the description box below for the links or click on the little icon on the top right corner to view the products. Thank you very much.